Hello, wonderful people. It's uh, Thursday here on Showbiz Now. We're live on Joy Prime. As always, we'll bring you the latest updates in the world of entertainment. And today, we're so, so excited about it because we've got so much to share with you here on the show. Don't forget that it's powered by Joy Entertainment. We're large and in charge. You can go on social media and be part of our social media family. It's pretty simple. All you got to do is to go there and like our pages, follow us, and be sure to also be part of the conversations that we always have. The engagement, it means a lot to us, all right? So go there and then drop your messages over there. It's Joy Prime TV on Facebook, Instagram, and of course on Twitter. So you can find us on social media platforms. Joy Prime TV is uh, the uh, handles that you can find. If you're on the, in the office and you can watch us, as always, maybe you're always busy in the office, you can as well check us out on Facebook. We stream live on Facebook. So please go there and uh, follow the conversation for today here on Showbiz Now. My name, God took a microphone, put a soul in it, drop it on F, and named it KMJ, and I was born to talk. It's always a pleasure to serve you here. You're most welcome to Showbiz Now. All right, so uh, and on Thursdays, what we do is that we take you back into some memories. As always, we check into a certain personality. You might want to know a little bit about the person. So we're going to be beginning with, uh, you know, a very, very awesome person. I mean, over the period, we've uh, brought you some memories about some Ghanaian celebrities, actors and actresses that you've not heard for a long time. We've spoken to them here on the show. Now, today, on our Throwback Thursday personality, we are looking at Melody Millicent Dankwa. Melody Millicent Dankwa. She was born on the 6th of January 1937 uh, and uh, died on 18th of March 2016. Uh, she was a Ghanaian pilot and the first female pilot in Africa. Now, Melody Dankwa was born in Latte, on the 6th of January 1937 to uh, Ebenezer Rexford Andrew Dankwa, who was the a luxurious court registrar and arbitrator of Latte. Her mother was uh, Selena Jemphy. Uh, Melody was a sixth of uh, ten siblings. Uh, she was chosen among the first three women towards the end of 1963 to be trained in the Ghana Air Force as pilots. She successfully made the grade and subsequent basic military training at the Ghana Military Academy. On the 22nd June 1964, Flight Cadet Dankwa flew solo for the first time in the Haviland, Canada, DHC-1 Chipmunk aircraft, uh, aircraft, becoming the very, very first Ghanaian to fly an aeroplane solo. She received her wings qualifying her as a pilot from Kofi Bakun, who was the Minister of Defense on 15th of April 1965. Uh, she also ended her flying career in June 1968 and began to do administrative work in the force. In 1984, she was discharged due to the state of her health. She received a long service award and the efficiency medal. And that's Melody Dankwa, who uh, happens to be the very first Ghanaian pilot and the first female pilot in Africa at the time. Uh, you know, uh, those pictures you've seen over there are pictures of Melody. Very, very, very beautiful person. and. Uh, always uh, ensuring that uh, she represents the mother Ghana and of course uh, she's been super super uh, hard working in that regard so congratulations to her and all her achievements may her soul continue to rest in peace now away from that we're back here on the show ladies and gentlemen don't forget that you're going to be joining us via zoom later when we activate that session as well the password is one two three four five six and that's the password for the zoom the id is on your screens and so the stories that we'll be talking about today you get to be a part of it by simply uh joining us don't forget to look good all right uh look very good and then come through and let's have a conversation it's very simple let me say a big thank you to the suppliers of my uh gold accessories my uh, ring of course my bangle my chains uh here on the show is always supplied by gold casting limited you can locate them inside uh easily gone all right so Let's get into that right about now. All right, so we're going to be starting off with something on the local front. And uh, Kewa has been speaking about, uh, you know, some issues that uh, really happened uh, between uh, Kwame Eugen and Mr. Jew. Now, you remember that there were a little bit of confrontation between the two artists. And social media has always took it up and made something out of it. Now, it has been revealed by Kewa, the management uh, team of uh, Mr. Jew, that the two of the has actually settled the situation. And so, uh, you know, there's no cause for alarm. They are, they are very good friends right now. Yeah, it's Kewa on more of that. Before I let you go, how do you feel about his whole 
back and forth with poor me, Eugene. I mean, that thing, sometimes we wonder why is it like that because they are both labeled as something we all don't know why it is like that. How do you feel about their whole back and forth? Well, I think that they are, they are great friends. <laughs> and when I, I, had, I had the, the back and forth with Kwame Eugene and him, I think that is, I mean, it's happened for even producers before, and it helps, it helps the artist. I saw maturity when Kwame Eugene mounted the stage and performed with him. So it should tell you that it really isn't a big deal. You know, it's, it's something to all, uh, to support both artists. I mean, you go through that, and let's understand that when you go through these things, it doesn't mean that it's the end. The Ghanaian music agenda has to be pushed. And so I believe that both of them are putting that effort in. So they're great artists. Kwame Eugene, I, he would, if you ask him about me, he would tell you that before he began, I told him that by the time he's, he's produced about his synth song, he'll, he'll be all over. Ghana, uh, 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 hitmaker, he'll tell you some, some of the things I told him that has come to pass. So I believe in that artist a lot. I believe in his craft. And Kwame Yuji will go far, trust me. And I, because I know it, give him a little time, he will top a lot of things. And so I believe that these are artists we should, we shouldn't separate, put them together, and then. All right, so that's uh, the man, a sound engineer, K1, speaking on uh, Kwame Yuji and Mr. Juice uh, uh, feud. Now, away from that, we're going to get into another story over here. You remember that yesterday we told you about Lizzo's situation. Uh, Facebook is actually taking a step to do something quite. Uh, phenomenal and uh, Facebook is deleting hateful uh, little comments and uh, it's uh, something in the right direction now Facebook is stepping in to scrub hateful comments directed at Lizzo from its social media platforms and some trolls are even getting the account removed now sources at Facebook tell TMZ the company has already removed a number of comments left on Lizzo's recent Facebook and Instagram post and that Facebook will continue reviewing reports of hateful comments on the ongoing uh, basis. Now, as it was reported, Lizzo broke down on a video over the weekend crying over being the subject of fat shaming and racist comments. She said she noticed people go out of their way to trip her and also to rip her and also uh, she couldn't make sense of it and all uh, that hate was getting to her. Now, our Facebook sources also tell us uh, that they are removing accounts of users who continue breaking community guidelines around the hate speech, harassment and bullying. So, any trolls going after Lizzo could soon get uh, acts in that direction. Now, don't forget that Cardi B's already come out strong in defense of Lizzo, and now Facebook is stepping in as well. So, that's really something on, uh, you know, a very positive note. And if you can see, uh, it is what it is. All right. Now, like I said the other time, man, social media is not supposed to be used for a lot of things, but unfortunately, they're used for them. We should always remember that mental health is getting so many people into certain conditions that they're not supposed to get through because of social media. It's played a very important role in that. So please, let's ensure that we stay away from some of these things and just show love to people. Is that too much to ask? Anyway, that's a good one for um, uh, Facebook. We really appreciate that. Let's move on to more stories. Kendall Jenner proudly wears boyfriend Devan Booker's Olympic uh, gold medal and uh, Kendall is uh, Devin Booker's number one fan in case you didn't know about that. During the couple's uh, recent lakeside getaway, the Phoenix Suns uh, player snapped a picture of the model proudly donning the gold medal he won as a member of the U.S. men's basketball team at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Now, this was one of many vacation photos Devin uh, shared with his 4.4 million Instagram followers. He also posted one of himself swimming in the water and a few images of his dog enjoying a boat ride, captioning the August 17th series Lake Boy. Now, this isn't the first time Kendall has celebrated a boyfriend's venture victory. After the U.S. team won its final game against France in Tokyo, the Keeping Up with the Kardashian star took to Instagram to show her support by placing a gold medal emoji over a picture of Devane in his jersey. Now, she also isn't the only one in her famous family who is so proud. Her brother, Rob Kardashian, also wrote legends underneath an Instagram post that showed Devane and his teammates wearing their medals. Of course, 
Kendall's guest star should come as no surprise to her fans. After all, followers watched her cheer during the NBA finals, and she's been spotted in her Phoenix Suns apparel on several occasions. Devan has also shown her support for Kendall, such as by sending her a gorgeous uh, cartoon display in the shape of 818 when that she launched a tequila brand as well so those were some exciting times in the lives of uh, kendall and of course you know what is happening with him with the olympic and winning the medal as well right so let's move on to some more stories here on the foreign front and christy tagan is in the news response to uh you know i mean schumer mockery video and uh, i mean schumer did what she does best by trolling Christy Tegan over the model's Marilyn Monroe inspired performance for Barack Obama's 60th birthday. Now, Abby uh, is doing her best to cheer on Christy Tegan's Marilyn Monroe inspired birthday song, but since Emmy is Emmy, her gesture isn't going to come off as particularly a supportive one. Now, on Tuesday, August 17, the 40 year old train wreck actress posted footage to Instagram in which she uh, recreated uh, Chrissy's uh, post from last week that showed uh, the 35-year-old uh, left sync battle coaster singing a few bars to mark former President Barack Obama's 60th birthday. Now, what happened was that Amy appeared to be in the same Martha's Vineyard home that Chrissy and uh, his husband, John Legend, actually were, saying, were staying in to enjoy Obama's star-studded uh, Massachusetts uh, festivities. Now, in her caption, Amy did her best to make it clear that the video was homemade uh, and uh, it's rather than being intentionally offensive. Amy also gave a shout out to comedian friend Rachelle uh, Finkstein, who also appeared in the footage as well by writing in the caption that tribute uh, steals the video. We love you, Christine Tegan. All right. So that's what also happened with the, you know, uh, family of John Legend and uh, also Amy Schumer over there. Now, away from that. Let's get into more stories right about now. And uh, Alex Rodriguez reviews how his daughters are coping after split from uh, Jennifer Lopez. You know that it's been really back and forth. Uh, and uh, Ben Affleck in the picture. And the engagement has been so tight that Alex has to be talking about how they're coping. Now, it's a whole new ball game for Alex Rodriguez in this regard. Because even though uh, the retired MLB player struck out uh, on his four-year relationship with Jennifer Lopez, they officially called off their engagement in April. He's focused on his happiness and well-being. Now, the 46-year-old sports man has actually been speaking about how things are going, and uh, he uh, he's uh, recently also opened up uh, to entertainment tonight about how he's soaking up all the positive things in his life instead of dwelling on the challenge he faces uh, this year. It's a mindset he passed. Uh, uh, down to his two daughters with the ex uh, Cynthia, uh, Curtis, uh, Natasha, 16, and Ella, 13. It says, I had five years of an incredible life and partnership, and also with my daughters, uh, we learned so much. Uh, he told uh, the outlet on Tuesday, August 17, and now we have the opportunity to make uh, uh, to take that and move forward and say, you know what, we're so grateful for the last five years. How do we make the next five years better because of lessons learned? It's a very big question that he's asking over there. So, I mean, a great place he reviewed. I'm so grateful for where God and light uh, has really put me. And I'm really looking forward mostly to see how my girls keep developing. The former New York uh, youngest uh, player also shared similar sentiments last month while celebrating his 46th birthday in St. Troopers on July 27. And uh, Alain the regretters took a moment to also express his gratitude as well. All right, so that's what, that's what it is for Alex on this one. Now, we're going to be taking a quick one and then we'll come back to our stories. But don't forget that our social media trends will be coming your way. The top 10 trends on Twitter. We'll be getting into that pretty soon as well. Now, a lot of things... Conversations have been going on. I've been following it, and I'll tell you more about it on social media, Twitter. In the meantime, let's go to uh, Cameroon, and let's see if we have uh, someone on Zoom. Uh, Oni is on Zoom. Uh, our rep from Cameroon is on Zoom. Let's get her right about now. How are you doing, Oni? <laughs> I'm fine. All right. Good to have you on the show today. You're looking good. <laughs> Yes, yes. I'm happy to have connected today. Mm. So what's going on? What do you want to comment on this time around? And what's happening in Cameroon as well? 
Now, we know we are just happy. We're just happy the Afcon draws went out smoothly and we are happy with our group, right? <laughs> Even though Cape Verde did knock out uh, one point in the preparatory games, but we are confident, you know, looking at our groups, we are confident that the trophy is going to stay with us. So that's just it. <laughs> All right. And we are also confident that we're going to be winning the trophy because uh, the team that we find ourselves in, uh, you know, it's not a really difficult team. I mean, Gabon and all of these people, Morocco, I mean, that's a team we can easily beat. So you guys should, really? be, you you should be giving us a trophy beat already. Morocco. Okay. <laughs> you should be giving us a trophy okay. already, even before we start. <laughs> you think you can easily beat Morocco? No problem. No problem. I'm really, I'll, I'll be happy to see you guys beat Morocco. In fact, I'll be on the field. You guys are going to play at the Amado Ajo Stadium in Yaoundé. Mm. And so we'll be there to watch it. I'm going to be there to cheer you guys because I'm from the English part of Cameroon. Okay. So I support every English country. Awesome. In that case, we're going to be receiving more updates from you as and when uh, the games, you know, uh, keep happening. So, yeah, that's that's also another one. <laughs> yes. Now, I'm here to comment about Lizzo. Yeah. Because I, I, I follow her a lot on uh, Instagram, and I see a lot of hateful comments, yeah. especially because she's somebody who is, like, she's fat. Yeah. And people tend to speak a lot like it's it, it, it's it's common these days people just tend to body shame most women that are fat i mean it's it's not a crime for you to be fat yeah and i like the fact that people have come out to support her because it's so common not just lizzo it's lizzo because she's a personality yeah, but we see women that are fat like oversized women that face a lot of uh hateful comments on in their daily lives we've seen it uh people even in their families, they get to tell them, you're putting on too much weight, you will not get married because you're too fat. Yeah. A lot of hateful comments that do affect self-esteem and it's not good. It's not just because of Lizzo's case. It's so people should get up and know if I'm fat today, it's not because, it's not a crime for me to get fat. Mm. It's not a crime. Fat, some people just have the, that, that in. Yeah. Uh Oh, it looks like we've been uh, having internet connection mm -hmm. issues. And they cannot. So but, that doesn't mean, so, but that doesn't mean you should keep insulting that, them about their weight or anything. Support them. Absolutely. And we're excited that Facebook has come out to also speak on the issue, even to the extent of deleting all the hateful messages and also even removing accounts that are, you know, uh, propagating that. And that's a good way to go because... I mean, sometimes it's it's a bit a bit sad. I know people who actually get depressed and they are, they, they gain weight, and it's not their fault to get depressed. Depre de depression is, is 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 a normal thing. It happens to everybody, you know. So it doesn't make sense when uh, we see people you know gain weight and then we we really shame them. It doesn't make sense, and I totally uh, front on that. So thanks for joining us and sharing your opinion on that as well. And uh, regards to all the people in Cameroon as well. Now that was uh, rep from Cameroon. Uh, uh, Yoni. Now let's get to another person over there. Uh, Rock. Rock, what's up? Can you can you hear me? If you can hear me, unmute your microphone and stop playing with your beard. <laughs> your beard gang, eh? Unmute yourself. Unmute your microphone. Oh, can you hear me? Okay, so if you can hear me, please do well to unmute your microphone and speak to us over here. Now we're going to go for our social media trends. When we come back, we've got some more local news and international news to give you here on the show. Don't forget, the show is powered by Joy Entertainment. We are large and in charge. And you can also join us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and then of course on Twitter. as Joy Prime TV, Joy Prime TV. That's where you can join us and be a part of the conversation we're having over here. You can also comment on Lizzo's situation of body shaming. Now let's get into our trends right now. From number 10, we have Jackie, who is trending at number 10. Our own musician, Jackie, is trending at number 10. And some of the uh, messages over there, tweet over there says, uh, a songbird, uh, Jackie actually tweeted, Need Me was shot in Tanzania by the amazing Andy Majete. Uh, I will tell you all about it and how it happened at my show at The View in Kumasa this Saturday, 21st. Now, another person says, the powder guy says, who cares about Jackie in song? Masa, we do Zoom. <laughs> Crazy guy. Mr. President says, Jackie, dear, when I get 200 mil, uh, billion, I go marry him. Hey. So these are the reason why Jackie's actually trending on Twitter. She has a show in Kumasi 
uh, on the 21st this weekend. And uh, if you are a Jackie fan, uh, Jackie Chan fan, please go there and support her. It's very important that we all support our very own. Now, at number nine, we have uh, Ramsdale, who is trending at number nine with over 52.3K tweet. And the conversations around that as well has been very exciting. Now, this one says, Arsenal close to wrapping up deals for uh, Odegaard and Ransdale. Uh, chance both could be done by midday tomorrow. So eligible for Chelsea on Sunday. Fees are great. Medicals and personal terms not expected to cause any issues as well. And uh, this one, uh, Fabrizio Romano says that uh, Martin Odegaard will sign his contract as new Arsenal player today. The agreement will be until June 2026. And uh, Real Madrid are also preparing their official statement as well. A run Ransdale deal between Arsenal and Sheffield United will be also completed very soon. So these are reasons why uh, Ramsdale is actually trending at number nine. Now let's get to number eight trend uh, Petra. Hashtag Petra is trending. And let's see some of the conversations around that as well. Now, this one says, have you guys uh, streamed the new mixtape from uh, Petra Nungwa Kadibi tweet with that? So Petra is actually a musician and she's trending right now. This one says, uh, Petra fans, we are large. Are both get trending number one. Your MCM can't even enter top five. And that was three hours ago when the person tweeted this. So basically, the musician Petra has released something beautiful and uh, she's trending on Twitter at number eight. And she's been on number one and uh, she's been dropping to number eight uh, at this moment because this is real time trends. BEC is trending. BECE is trending. And uh, Kwaku Taylor's tweets and says 2009, 2013 and 2015 are the batch that really suffered during their BECE uh, 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 time. And another person over here, Sadat Karim, says, I got six with eight ones in BECE and uh, got two Bs and six Es in WSHC, uh, SCE. I was playing in Ghana Premier League my third year in high school. If not, I could get six As. I did science at PC. So basically, somebody tweeted about when they wrote BECE. And that has started a trend that is ongoing right now. So people are quoting the years that they, start, they wrote their BECE and others are talking about the grades they got and all of that. Now, at number six, uh, City CBS is there. At number five, UTAC is trending with over 14.3K tweets. And you know it has to do about the strike and the demonstration that happened. Now, they've decided to amicably resolve the issue and go back to school and teach. And so that's also trending. But let's see if we can get one message for that. Now, Kali J, uh, Jai Jimmy says that uh, fellow undergrads, as Utah call off uh, the must strike, let's connect now, like, and comment your handle. And uh, the emojis and other videos over there. This one, Kumasa Sakodia says, saw this somewhere, Utah, the assembly uh, and, and that's also the reason why Utah is trending. Now, let's check out number four. BB Niger season six is trending at number four. So on Twitter right now, BB Niger is trending. And this one, Watchman says, I love White Money's new look. And uh, DJ Neptune says, Maria, the queen of friend zone. And Liko Rose, Rose uh, this one tweets and says, tonight's conversation, Emmanuel had with uh, Sammy about Liko Rose uh, made me confirm I'm in the right shape. All right. So that's also some of the tweets associated with that. It has about 24.6K tweet as well. Now, number three. Sarkodia is trending with music and uh, over there there's conversation about Sarkodia not replying messages of fellow artists uh, instead of uh, you know doing that is replying people like Kasper in your vest and it's brought a lot of conversation around that now CJ Bigaman says Sarkodia really did Tayao uh, he go that somebody verse shoot video plus a person help promote the song the person will go hibernation after the record gaining attention. Some years down the line, the person will come, uh, won't knock some record plus sack if sack not the mind and pet case. Kalijay says that uh, uh, laughing out loud will make you people no stress sack or the MSF. The messages then things are the, are the get the over me now sack. What they make I'm hard, self uh, be the fact that you try to keep everything to yourself. See, it hard for your mind, the person they fresh, uh, the rush. But you never know what them they go through. All right, so that's messages around now. Um, Demony tweeted this morning that Sarkodie has replied a WhatsApp message that was sent by uh, Casper Invest, a rapper in South Africa, instead of replying messages that he has been sending him all this while. And that has uh, sparked another conversation on Twitter and is making that Sarkodie trend. And he's also in Nigeria right now promoting his song. So it's also another reason why he's trending at number Three. Now, let's get to number two right about now. Lawrence Baby says, guys, this week's featured game is here. Sicho giveaway. And so Sicho giveaway is trending. It's football-related. And it's trending at number two on uh, 
Twitter right now as we speak, all right? So go check out the conversation associated with that. And Sicho, as at this moment, has moved to number one. And D-Money has moved to number two. Initially, D-Money was at number one and Sicho was at number two. But it has shifted right now as at this moment that we speak. So D-Money is the one who began the whole conversation about this Sarkodie ignoring and erring uh, fellow musicians and not really replying their messages and doing that to other musicians in other parts of the country. Now, Twilight says, D-Money, the air, D-Crime, Sack, the air, D-Money, Stormzy, the air, Sarkodie, McMill, the air, Stormzy, Drake, the air, McMill, Kanye, the air, Drake, Jay-Z, the air, Kanye. And those are some of the messages associated with that. And uh, Labi Sasset says, y'all should pay attention to Sarkodie's lyrics. Sarkodie said in Sub-Zero song that he will not change it. He will change his chip, some uh, SIM card in 2020. So y'all should tell D-Money to see Tracy and take the new number and stop testing over there on his old invalid number before he cried blood. And there's some laughing emojis over there. <laughs> Interesting stuff on social media. So those are some of the trends and some of the conversations that are ongoing. And uh, sometimes it's pretty exciting to get into some of these conversations. All right. So what do you have to say about this? Uh, you know, Sarkodie is trending for a lot of reasons, but also the fact that D Money is asking why he's not replying his messages, but is replying the messages of Casper Universe and other musicians from other countries. Hmm. You can join us on Zoom. The ID is on your screens. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Be a part of it. And please don't forget to dress well, look good, and join us here on the show. All right. We appreciate you joining us. And so join us and then speak your mind on it. Let's get into some more stories. And uh, Kathleen Jenner's struggles with identity. Uh, led to a gold medal, and this would actually interest you. It's a bit intriguing <laughs> to know about this story. In a new trailer for the Caitlyn Jenner-centric uh, episode of Netflix's sports series Untold, the Olympian looks back on her dedication to sports and how her identity struggle played a part. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner said, I always hear the fact that my producer will just tell me, let's wrap up in 30 seconds. Guys, it's been a wonderful spending time with you here on the show. God willing, tomorrow we're back at 11 a.m. to wrap it all up. Many thanks to the production team. My name got took a microphone, put a soul in it, drop it on F and named it KMJ, and I was born to talk. Please do not forget to do good and communicate. Thanks for watching. Yeah.